people have you lost your mind? Guys, my name is Curtis Spark, and welcome back to yet another video on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new iPhone 7 that has just been released not that long ago on September 7th, 2016. Now, before we even get into details of this video, I first want to let you guys know that I am not a big fan of Apple, like, at all. I don't like Apple so much, like there are so many damn reasons as to why I don't like Apple, I could probably make a goddamn novel from it. With that being said, if you are a huge fan of Apple and absolutely adore the new iPhone 7, I highly recommend not watching this video. Recently, there has been a lot of drama on social media all over the internet, blowing up shit like nobody's damn business, alright, about the new, brand new iPhone 7. A lot of you guys already know the deal, but the new iPhone 7 know all the facts and specs and information about it, so I'm not going to bore you to death with all the facts that you've heard over and over and over again already on the internet, um, because that would be kind of pointless. All you need to know about this new iPhone 7 is that, first of all, it is offered in a jet black color, which is kind of cool, but we'll get into that later. It includes dual cameras, that's right. Two, not one, crazy, right? No freaking headphone jack. Okay, cool. And is even waterproof. Waterproof! Sounds fancy, right? Well, in my opinion, it's just downright stupid. Let's start off with the fact that the iPhone 7 is available in jet black. At first, I thought this was amazing, alright? The pictures look so damn cool. It fits the phone so well. Like, it looks fancy like it damn that is a phone that i would want just by looking at it then i did my research and i looked into it a little bit more and i found out that the jet black iphone 7 is prone to scratches and collects fingerprints like nobody's damn business i'm talking about like for you touch that thing once and it's just like okay it's crazy all right it's horrible. Why buy a certain color of a phone if it's just going to get ruined the next damn day? I don't know. It's just pointless to me. Just saying. I mean, it's just my opinion, but it sounds sounds fucking stupid. Um, but, you know, that just saying. Now, on to the dual cameras, because you know everybody needs two cameras, right? This is actually a really cool feature that I don't exactly fully hate. Like the fact that it offers higher quality pictures, wide angle perspectives, and better light options blows my mind. Finally, something that Apple does not completely fuck up on. Way to go, Apple. Did I mention that this dual camera feature is only available on the iPhone 7 Plus? Yeah. Just another way for Apple to rip off its users. <laughs> Yay. All right, so for the next feature, you may want to sit down because it has blown up the goddamn social media like nobody's goddamn business. Like, you wake up in the morning, you go on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you use, and there's somebody making jokes about the new iPhone 7 that having a headphone jack, or there's people even making freaking headphone jacks in the iPhone 7. Like, literally, I saw a guy the other day, all right, he took a screwdriver, and he, like, literally made a hole where the headphone jack was used to be. Yeah. My point being said, the new feature has pissed off thousands, and I'm talking about thousands, man, millions, billions of people worldwide, okay? Not just Apple users are pissed off. I'm pissed off, and I'm not even an Apple user, okay? The new iPhone 7 has absolutely no headphone jack whatsoever. It's gone. It Bye. <laughs> That's what Apple said, the headphone jack. Alright, so instead of actually putting in a normal headphone jack, they decided that it would be smart to replace the beloved headphone jack slot with another set of speakers. Yeah. Who's the dumbass who thought of that one? Let's take a moment for our beloved headphone jack. Okay, let's just, just stand. Just wait a moment. In the arms of headphone jack 2k16 
<laughs> anyway, so instead of using a lovely pair of wired headphones, now you have to use a brand new pair of wireless AirPods for the low price of $200. Thankfully, when you buy the new iPhone 7, you get a pair of AirPods in the bundle, so you don't have to go out and pay an extra $200. But if you happen to lose them, which is really damn easy because they are so hella small, like I'm not even kidding, I looked at the picture and I already lost them, okay? You have to buy a brand new pair for the low price of $200. So apparently, Apple is actually making up for the loss of the headphone jack by including a pair of wired ear pods in the actual bundle when you buy the iPhone 7. They're also being extra nice and including a lightning converter for your 3.5 millimeter plug. So you can still listen to music with headphones that are wired, but you can't charge at the same time. Who's the smart one who came up with that idea? Good job, man. You've just fucked up everything. Also, the converter cord is extremely damn weak, just like every goddamn cord by Apple that exists on this fucking planet. Let's face it, Apple has fucked up once again. Way to go, Apple. Now for the feature that I'm actually really surprised to hear that is real. Like, I'm not kidding. I found this out and I was like, what? You guys actually did this? Like, what? You guys aren't, like, fully stupid? Wow. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, the new iPhone 7 is waterproof. What? Alright, when I first heard about this, I'm not gonna lie, alright? I thought it was fake. So damn fake, alright? But then I looked up online of little test videos of people, you know, getting a new iPhone 7 and pouring water on it. Hell, some people have went in the goddamn ocean and it survived, okay? So when I saw that, you know, these things are actually surviving, I was just like... <laughs> Wait, it's real? What? So, yeah, apparently this feature is real. And, uh, yeah, it's waterproof. Well, water resistant. Same idea. Funny thing is, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys know, but Samsung made their phones, uh, waterproof a long time ago. So, Apple's behind by like two, three, maybe four years. <laughs> Pick up the pace, Apple. Also, when it comes to size, the new iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 6 Plus are the exact same size. Finally, Apple is taking into consideration that we all don't want to have a phone conversation on a tablet-sized phone. Plus, us ladies got, like, really damn small pockets. Like, we can barely fit this stuff in our pockets. Like, literally, the back pocket is still our best friend. Seriously, though, who created these small-ass pockets? Like. Oh my god. But that's like a whole different topic, which I will get into in the future, because that's just fucking bullshit. As for the prices, the new iPhone 7 starts, okay, starts, S-T-A-R-T-S, not even finishes, just starts, at $650, okay. And the new iPhone 7 starts at $770. <laughs> What? Also, as stated before, if you were to lose your AirPods, you would have to pay another $200 to get a new pair. Overall, I think that the new iPhone 7 is not worth the money. It clearly has more cons than it does pros. Even if I wanted to buy one, I couldn't, because I'm fucking poor. See? Poor. I think you guys get the point. I don't like the new iPhone 7. Anyways, with that all being said, I want to know your guys' opinion in the comment section down below. Do you like the iPhone 7? Do you hate the iPhone 7? Are you not about that Apple life? And as always, make sure to drop a like on the video before leaving because it is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for some more amazing videos. And also feel free to stalk me on all my other social media. The links and the information is all in the description down below. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And yeah, love you all.